Hey guys, JPA Trades here, and as promised, I'm going to make a video for you all on how I use unusual whales and kind of how I how you can take it to your advantage during the trade day, trading day. And before the market opens, like overnight, you often see me writing my due diligence posts and kind of including screenshots from here to kind of help you prepare for the next day. And I also offer you all a discount for unusual whales. For five percent off which i'll also link in the description of the video so with that let's get started so to start out what i like to do is go to the flow view here so right away what pops up is kind of all the flow that happened during the day so what you need to do and what i like is just go over here to filter tickers and let's just take one of the examples we did today so let's use snowflake so ticker is snow all right, so here's all the trades that happened today for Snowflake. And you can adjust how many you see per page. So what you need to do first is set how much you want to look at. So $25,000 is about where I set it because that's kind of where you start stepping right away from the retail traders and kind of step more towards the professionals, institutions, hedge funds that are all kind of trading in the stock market. You kind of pick up their levels. You can set it as low as you like. like we could go and make it a dollar. So anyone who does anything, you'll pop up. So if this is you or not, maybe you bought one. Maybe you bought, here's someone that just bought one contract of the 335 calls for a dollar. Maybe that was one of us. That was at the end of the day. So who knows? But $25,000 seems to be about the sweet spot of where you want to be. You can make it a thousand and you can sometimes see people trying to sneak stuff in there. But $25,000 is a pretty good spot. So you're here, you're looking at it. What does all this mean? So here's puts getting bought for the ask. So these people are thinking it's going down. There's calls getting bought for the ask. So a lot of information here that you can see kind of going in. A good way to kind of get a quick view of this is to click the show charts button. And you can see what's going on here. So... You can see the calls, the put volume, the premium associated with it, just the ask side versus the bids, bid side, excuse me. So it's pretty well split, and that makes sense because we went hard down to start the day and then started uptrending to end the day. So what to remember here, if you're a momentum trader, is you want to always be on the same side of the, as the flow. So if they're all hitting calls nonstop, you want to be on that same side. You want to also be in the calls. If you're a dip buyer like I am, you want to be looking at kind of the big picture. You want to know, hey, where is people putting their dollars at? What points are they saying, hey, this is where I want to start building my position for the future? And a good example of this is the Snowflake 350 calls I shared today from uh, Unusual Snorlax feed. He had... They were originally, uh, I think, $16 million worth of the 370 calls that yesterday were rolled down to the 350 calls. And I think it was worth $10 million. And I'll try to find it in here afterwards. But when those huge dollars are at play, especially in out-of-the-money contracts, there's usually someone who knows something somewhere. Like, it's one thing for you or me to make a guess with a few thousand dollars. It's completely different when you're dealing with tens, of, even over a million. You, you really started got started to got looking at the charts, looking at the flow. When things are out of the money and over a million dollars, that's usually where I start to raise my eyebrow about things. And we can go and look here and just see if we can find it real quick. So set our premium range to a million. And this is basically what I like to use. The I don't really adjust the spot ranges or the size ranges. The dollars is what matters the most for me, but you can play around and kind of set it to whatever settings you want to tailor it to whatever you're looking for. So here's all the big buys today. Let's see if we can find that rule. So here's, yeah. So here we go. So here's that March buyer. He sold 9.6 million of the 370 calls and he increased it to 13.6 million of the 350. So 
and he did it at 328. So what that's telling me is, hey, someone thinks something is going to happen here. Someone's willing to not only sell their position for a loss, but also increase what they had in it before. So 328 is a pretty big level. When that level gets taken out, it's probably going to fly more. And that buy-in there is saying, hey, he doesn't think there's too much more downside or else he's going to end up getting hosed and someone and he's going to get fired from his hedge fund someone he's going to get a nasty grant from somebody for losing that 13.6 million so that's kind of something to keep that's one of the reasons why i knew i knew just that the uh 370 calls existed so that's why i said hey i don't think there's too much downside left in this position with all that money sitting out there but after i seen that that 350 also happened it's like hey Something to keep keep on the radar that this name it's beat down a lot. I think it was we were almost over we were over 400 a little bit in Snowflake, back down to 300, so 25% off the top. You start getting that question: How much further down can it really go? So and then these hedge funds and these institutions are making that same bet, but they kind of have information that we don't have access to, and that's why the flow is so important. So you can start to see where the money starts flowing into these contracts. So another useful tool is if you have one of the upgraded packages is the intraday analyst tool. And this is one of my favorite tools. And this is what I use to help build the DD post for you guys, due diligence post for you guys on Twitter. So intraday analyst tool, you can type in whatever ticker you want. We already have it sorted to snow. So we'll go through snow real quick here. So here's the most active chains of the day. So this kind of shows you, hey, Where's all the money going into? And you can see huge activity, 305 to 350 calls, with the biggest being the 325s, the 335s, the 330s, the 340s. So that's all hinting at, hey, moves probably coming up. And then all, and then the 300s, the 310s, and the 285 calls are also active. So this is where you kind of use some intuition and say, hey, snow is being beat down today those puts were being loaded on the downtrend and most likely those calls were being loaded on the uptrend. So that's where you can kind of interpret what happened. And another useful tool is this biggest option trades. So like, hey, what trades are being sorted today? So here's what was made today. The biggest trade that was made was some 400 puts for what, 580K, 540K. As well as some 300 calls with the bullish bid. And you can look at what time these happened. So these happened at 1. And then we started to rally into the afternoon. So this is kind of a good thing to also see like, hey, where's all the big trades happening? And another one of my useful tools that I like is uh, the highest open interest increase. That means like, where's the calls going? So right here, there's that 350 calls, 4,000% increase. It's back like what I was saying before. They're going in there, they're buying these calls up. What do they know that we don't know? What what event is on the horizon? What breakout is coming? Something is 4,000% massive. So why, why is it there? It's not like it's going from like one to 40, it's going from 152 to 6,100. So that's a pretty significant increase. It's not just like a, hey, this is the percentage jump. It's like a legitimate thing here. So that's why I kind of, Three, especially at that 300 psychological level today, Holden really kind of raises some eyebrows about what's coming in Snowflake. And here it is again by percent. So in case, so here it is by like quantity by percent. So percent you might get thrown off like here well, from one to 43, which is a 3,300 percent increase, but really not that significant compared to the 152 to 6,000. So it's kind of good to do a little double check here just to make sure you're not getting thrown off by percents, but. In this case, that 4,000 is a pretty legitimate number that worth keeping a track on. And you can also see like the chains, like, oh, here's kind of a lot of activity in the 365, 370s, but uh, I care more kind of about the volume. But my favorite view is just this grid right here, and as well as the hot chain, the most active chains. Some people call them, they're also called the hot chains, I think. Yeah, hot chains and tickers. And finally is the dark pool. And there's a ton of other features in here, but I don't want to kind of talk your guys' ears off for an hour. I kind of want to tell you the information that's most relevant to me and then 
If you like the tool and sign up, you can kind of play around and see all the different things that you can use to your advantage because there's a ton of capabilities in here. It's about what works for you because ultimately I want to help you guys get better. I don't want to say like this product will make you a hundred percent better trader as soon as you sign up because at the end of the day, it's what you put in is what you'll get out. If you'll go in and do the homework, do the extra work, use these extra resources to your advantage, you'll see your success level increase over time. But if you think you're just going to buy this tool or you think you're just going to show up and it's all going to click in one day, it's not going to happen. It, it takes work. It takes effort. And it's one of those things you just got to make go. So next up here is the dark pool activity. So we'll just filter it to snow really quick. So here's where you can see all the different dark pool activity in snow. You see a lot of it in here. That's like 300,000, 600,000. So what I like to do is filter that out to about a million. If you're dealing with smaller cap stocks, you can use a lower number. But I like to trade larger cap stocks, so about a million dollars is where you want to be. You can even make it higher. So you can kind of see, okay, here's one four activity today. 82, 83 million at 315. So that tells me right away. 315 is a big number, and it hit at the close today, a little bit after the close. So that's telling me, hey, if we go past 315 tomorrow, another big move could be coming. Same, And these are essentially at the same time, so it's closer to 90 million. Yeah, about, about, about 90. And then another useful thing you can do, you can make it even bigger. So the stronger, the more dollars in the dark pool zone, the stronger the pivot point is. So the more you have, the the higher the dollar, the stronger the pivot, the weaker, the lower the dollar, the weaker the pivot. So you want to kind of be on the sides of like 10 million plus. So let's make it 10 when you're starting to deal with dollars. So like a 10 at 312 isn't as strong as a 57 at 340. So this is where you can kind of sort out where your big pivots are. So. 82, 315, pretty big number with 82 million on it. So here's another one, 350, that's another big number. But you also kind of want to see, like, did they happen at the same time? So here's one, a few seconds apart. But the, the oh, two, that's two different, sorry about that. Let's see if we can find one at the exact same time to say, like, where it was. Okay, so right here. On the third, 917, 917. So all these three are really a hundred million dollars because they all hit at the same time, right around 360. Same thing here. Here's another cluster, all at 311 for about 75 million. So those points combined are how strong is so 311 strong number, 360 strong number, strong pivot. But you know, this doesn't mean buy. This doesn't mean sell. This means depending on the flow, depending on the price action. If it's a, if it breaks above the pivot, it can usually keep going. If it breaks below the pivot, it'll keep falling. So the, I like to use this also to see like, hey, where are the dollars at? When are the money flowing in? And I actually made another video on dark pool specifically on how to kind of interpolate it better, not interpolate, translate it better. And I think that's also really useful. But with that being said, I hope you guys all enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.